Hello, I'm Max Balagde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. Happy New Year! Woo! It's 2023! That's so weird to say. Just yesterday, it felt like we were in 2022. Literally. Haha. <laughs> I haven't what? showered since last year. Uh, Wait, let me have a shower today. I have showered today. Have you? No, I have my but my shower's not fixed yet. I've had a bath. The you useless hotline is a butt. place where. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, footsies already. Oh, what we like. First um, footsies of the year. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> TikTok wasn't working out for us, <laughs> so we've decided to set up our own business. We have, and it's called what? The useless hotline. The useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries or issues, no matter how weird, embarrassing, or disgusting they are. But it won't always just be us. Ah! We <laughs> might have. I didn't mean to make that. I didn't even know I could make that noise. Were you just having a poo? I don't know what just happened. We may also be joined by some potential employees. Oh. Give them a little interview, a little trial shift. Oh. You know what's good. I don't know, that's, oh, you I don't know, do I know that. what's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's bloody get into it, George. Wait, do, do I have it. to say anything else? I don't know. So no, let's year, bloody perhaps? get into it. Happy New Year, yeah. What the hell? We're what are your new year resolutions? Wiser. I think that my new year resolution is to stop making sex jokes about your dad. That would be good. I'd enjoy that. Um, I think he would too. And he might finally want to meet you. Mm, we'll see. Um, after what I've heard about him, time, I don't know if I would Jesus. want... No, I'm joking. I'm joking. See, I'm getting it out of my system. See, all um, this time, and my dad hasn't even met my boyfriend yet. He's not. And it's it's my fault. It's my fault. I mean, you know, first he's got to come round to the idea that... You've got a podcast with somebody yeah. who constantly makes reference to his penis. Yeah. And then he's got to come around to the idea that I'm making jokes about him having some sort of weird relationship with you, his son. Yeah. And then he's got to come. Stop period. saying that word. <laughs> I know. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is one of my resolutions. Have you got any other ones? Yeah. Also. In daily life. Or not necessarily daily life. Could just be like weekly life. Weekly life. Monthly, monthly life. Yearly. It would be yearly life. Otherwise. Yeah, no, that would be, be a bit. Next year as yeah. well. That'd be next year's resolution. Um, I think I definitely want to become a <clears throat> fitness legend again. So any fitness that is people. Such, that's such a different one that I can imagine not many people have thought of. Yet. Yeah, no, it's quite niche. Yeah. Not many people say that in January they want to start a fitness plan, um, but I genuinely do. Because the lovely people in comment sections have informed me that I've gained weight. No, they haven't. Have they actually? Um, they love to just let me know in case I've forgot or I've not realised myself. They lo It's so kind. They just, they go, oh, you've really gained weight, haven't you? Oh, oh nice Max has them. lost his jawline. That's nice of them. So I just thought, um, you know, what lovely well, people. How else would you know? How else would I know? I don't have access to a mirror. Look at me. Do I look like I know what I look like? Would I walk out the house if I did? No, you wouldn't walk out your house with toothpaste on your t-shirt. With toothpaste on my t-shirt, with my tits well, growing I hope it's in toothpaste. size. Andrew wasn't around last night, was he? He was actually. Oh, um, hell. come again. Yeah, literally. That was the joke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, yeah, they're my I've, main two. What about you? Um, I was about to say, do you know what I've realised? Um, well, having been going gym myself show off it is very obvious when it's january there oh is, yeah no there's no. such an influx of people oh yeah i remember last year usually by the end of january it like just tones back yeah. down to normal again it's quite funny my issue is i don't like the gym that i've been i've been in a pure gym hashtag not spawn um and i used to be in a pure gym where i'm from yeah but it had just nicer people in it nowadays well, yeah, oh, you'll be in London, so... Yeah. Nowadays, though, I'm in, like, a busy high street, and during the day, it's very obvious that the only people there are only fanless people, because I obviously don't have a nine-to-five, so I yeah. go, like, during the day on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But you Wednesday. live in an area of just purely only fans. No, there's a lot of gay people where I live. So okay. it's very much, like, picture people that look like they've had, like, um, what do you call it, cling film. Yeah. Stretched on their face yeah. so that all of the things have been pulled back. Their lips are out here, but they're also, like, fucking built and massive yeah. and look at you like this like, as you walk in. That's what I've been dealing with. Right. So I've not really felt that comfortable to go to the gym. Also, nowadays, something that is not normal that we have to deal with is people snapping a pic of you whilst this you're doing it. I've, ha I've had this, like people message me like oh make sure you go out this set i'm like are you what would you mean 
Like, yeah. That's why I, I always go like late in the evening. Yeah. So, uh, but I don't like going late easier. in the evening. I used to like going like during the day, but I just don't like it. So I really want to join. If there's anything in like central London that is a gym full of like 30, 40 year old mums. 50, 60 year old grandmoms. What Max is saying love is, it. he wants to go and join a Zumba class. I do, I do. <laughs> I want to be in a supportive environment with Deborah and Susan where we're having a bit of a laugh and a giggle. I can so see you That's turn what up I want. Like, oh, I'm just going to see Debbie tonight. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd, I want to I wanna be around like Pilates. Yeah, I could give that a go. I'd spin do- class? Spin class. I'd give it a go. I would if I was in a supportive environment. I'd, be in, I'd go to the gym and the other, not the other day because I've not been to the gym like over a month now um the last time and i literally cancelled my gym membership straight after this there was this boy in front of me and i was on that thing where you like you put your arm on it to like do a weight yeah i don't know what it's called like arm rest uh concentration curl all right i believe they call it in the biz right i hope sorry. it is otherwise um, i'm gonna have a whole gym i call it arm rest me. flex arm pull lift what what's it called lift weight arm device shut up and there was a boy in front of me who saw me in the mirror and then started laughing and then was very obviously taking pictures of me. That's weird. And I was like, that is so mean as well. That's literally so mean. And then I've also been in situations where people will send me tweets where they're like, oh my God, I'm in the same gym as Max Bellet today. Yeah, that's all. And it's like, and they're like making fun of me because I obviously don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. But I'm like, how What I will say is if you weren't yourself, people wouldn't be making fun of you. It's because they know you're a sort of happy-go-lucky little, uh, doesn't really care what people think guy. Yeah. But when he's in the gym, don't take the piss out don't of him, Don't take the piss out he's of him. He's trying to better himself. I am, and I'm doing a bad job of it, evidently. But I also need a personal trainer, I think. Because yeah. I've always been doing it by myself, and I have no willpower, no expertise, and I can't be arsed. If, if there's more of a routine, you'll turn up. Yeah, I used to, I mean, do you know what, I've shown you what I used to look like. Like, I used to actually be, like, muscly. Trust me, I look at that often. I can imagine. Um, Usually the screen gets all cloudy afterwards, though, doesn't it? So you just have to give it a quick wipe. Um, I am away from the screen. Cloudy. Cloudy is horrible. Oh, that's horrible. You have more, like, thick. Disgusting. Oh, oh, oh. immediately. What was I going to say? I can imagine you at the back of a a Zumba class. Oh. Karen, Debbie, either side. Yes. And you're going... Oh, what I'm have you been up to I'm this week? Structures, nice and safe. I'd oh. love it. I'd love that. That's all I want. I want to be in a supportive environment full of mums. Yeah, Cags, what do you reckon of that instructor? I really do. Oh, well, no, Max, she's lovely. <laughs> she, he, he's lovely. I'd love it? that. I would really love that. Yeah. And I think that's where I'm going wrong. I need to go more towards like the what's it called fitness water, water fitness. fitness. Water? Where well, you're doing the fitness exercises in the pool. Oh, aerobic. Acro- I want to do that. Acro-robics. I love that. Like, oh my God, this is what I need to do. I'm doing it. Any gyms. Just turn up to lo- loads of different uh, classes that you can do. So you can do one one day spin class, one day aquarobics, one day something else. But I don't want anybody my own age. I want only mums. Because that way I can only be the young mums. ones. That's that a way- whole different account. <laughs> <laughs> That's the website, isn't it? Um, I could be like the youngest one and then they're like, oh, he's so silly. What's he like? No, I love that this is your can, plan. It's my plan. That's my that's my dream. It's more than a plan. It's my fantasy. You can all sit there listening to the useless hot live. Oh my God. The scenes. I'd love it. Um, but yeah, so Max, that's one of my resolutions. Naughty you. I heard you on the last episode. Oh, oh they'd love it. I got, oh, cags. Susan, what you like? <laughs> What's your resolutions? Then? My resolutions. Uh, I need to get, I need to fully get back into the gym because I've been dibbling and dabbling. Well, you, you've just I've been just hovering been... in the doorway, haven't you? Yeah. You've not fully gone in <coughs> once. You, no, you walk I, in. It's, it's, <laughs> it's moving back to London that's the problem because I, I was just basically. Is lit- there one near you now? Yeah. Like how far, what, like walking distance? Yeah, like, like five minutes, five, oh, that's six. Sound. I, I sort of run there, so it's like three minute, three oh, minute run. That's great. Yeah, but I just haven't been able to recently. Oh, because you just so swept off your feet. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Max is just taking me under his wing. I have. Um. <laughs> no, but outside of gym, because I'm boring. Um, I, again, it's just more like it's my resolutions would just be boring stuff, like. Making sure I post a YouTube video once a week. Yeah, that is boring. Making sure I post TikToks. Yeah, make that's sure boring. I Boo. What, what should I say? I think that mine is to be a bit more organised, but also mm. maybe get my ADHD diagnosed. Well, you want to get some diagnosed? You want to go to the... I want to get a diagnosis of, your of some diagnosed. sort. Like I don't care what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because genuinely, I'm, I try to be more organised, 
But this <clears> job, <throat> having multiple different things to do, because like has made me kind of realize that maybe I do have ADHD. Because back when I used to do like revision for exams and stuff, I would be dreadful at it and I wouldn't mm. be able to concentrate on anything. But because I didn't really care that much and I would always somehow end up doing relatively well in the exams. Oh, shock. It didn't um, really come to my attention that much. But now that I like look back on everything in my life and I'm like, you've probably had ADHD your entire life and that's why you struggle to be organized yeah. and you do 10 different things at once, then you get really overwhelmed and then you have a fall on meltdown and everything crashes instead of just doing one task at a time. So maybe I need a good diagnosis in my life. Yeah, that sounds quite what fun. What you need is a proper diagnosis as opposed to a self-diagnosis, yes. which you've been, you've been working off for I, yeah. years. I do keep self-diagnosing of instead course, of... ADHD standing for... Adult diaper. Wait, that was ABDL, adult baby diaper lover, wasn't it? Hmm. Do you actually know what ADHD stands for? No. Do you know? Yeah, go on, Wait. give it a go. Animal, no. A damn hot dick. That's not it, oh. but um, what... <laughs> <laughs> my god um you have something definitely not been diagnosed with anatomy that. animatonic animatronic yeah isn't it that game that's like the animatronics what's it called five nights at freddy's yeah i want to do that for my youtube channel i want to like play it well i think oh you god, have just be been so diagnosed fun. with adhd um, oh yes <laughs> <laughs> right i really want to play it though okay what okay. does adhd stand for and don't. And you think it's going to start with and. And don't hate this brain. Um, I, I, that's my excuse. But that's, I got, that's I've got ADHD, ADHD and don't hate this brain. That's ADHD B. Well, yeah, because I've got ADHD. By the end, I lose concentration and I forget about the B. Right, okay. What does it stand for then? Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. Oh, Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. Not, and don't hate this brain. <laughs> That's quite a good one, though. <coughs> yeah. And don't hate this brain. Or a damn hot dick. Oh. Yeah. Amazing dietary haver. Have Damn. this. Have Daniel. Whoever he is. Amazing dietary. Anyway, shut up. And okay. I was, was going to say one that... Go on. Say, and Dad, hold this. Oh, that's, that's, no. That's, my, that's, that's going against my New Year's yeah, that's, resolution. That that's going one. against my New Year's resolution. <laughs> and Dad, hold this. <laughs> no. Mm -mm -mm. That's the old me. Sorry, the old Max can't come to the phone right now. Why? Shit. Because he's dead. That was Taylor Swift. Sorry, um, is this you picking sorry, up the Sorry, yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, I'm oh. just going to put this back here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see Taylor Swift this year as well. Okay. Taylor Swift, like two of my TikToks. What, as in terms of, yeah, that's cool. In terms of, <laughs> um, in terms of at concert, or are you going to stalk her so much that you see her? You're going to become a, a member of the Hollywood other. fix. One or the other. Um, probably more likely to be concert. Beverage? Yes, please. What, what kind would you like? I would like, oh, do you know what? It's the new year, so I'll new switch year, it up year. a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure in 2022, I mostly opted for still water. So I think yeah. I'll just go for regular water. And maybe a Reg still. Regular water's finished. I'll just go for a still then. Um, I'll just be the same <laughs> unimpressed. Same basic bitch that you were last unimpressive year. Unimpressive person that I was last year, yeah. Right, and then what else do you want to mix with? Could I please have it with um, a seltzer of your choice? You want vodka seltzer? Is that going to be grim? No, that sounds lovely, man. Okay. Um, God. Passion fruit mango or yeah. lime? You can't just say yes to oh. an option. Oh. Passion fruit, mango, or lime. Yeah. Is it passion fruit and mango? Passion fruit, mango, or lime. So that's three different options. Yep. Mm. Passion fruit, please. Okay. Passion wow. fruit for mouth. Give us your Oh, yeah, shit, sorry. Okay. Um, for the audio listeners, I just Get slid my mug. cup along. Oh, there's a little bit in there left from last week. That's oh, lovely. Delicious. So with, like, New Year's and stuff... Are you the sort of person that gives that date a lot of importance? Like, are you like, I need a good plan. I'm going to look back on my previous year and be a bit emotional. Um, I, no. Oh. As in, no, not, I know. Oh, I was going to say, you know what? What do you know? No, um, I don't know. I don't really sort of sit down and go, oh, God, I'm thankful for the year that I've had. I feel like this year Do you not year, reflect perhaps, on it? No, I, I do. No, no, I don't really reflect on it. I just sort of be like oh this year was quite good wasn't it I really reflect and I get quite emotional every year 
Yeah. I I'm, I'm so homosexual that one of my favorite Wait, films. So you're gay. I know. Shocking. Um, it's a resolution to stop, but I mean, you know, because it is a choice, as everyone knows. Um, so I'll give it a good go, but it's yeah, not looking you need likely to stop, so far. You homophobe. Um, and yeah, I know. Here I am, homophobic Max Belegde, 2023, still going strong. Um, One second. And oh, all right. For the audio listeners, George is reaching for another seltzer from the filing cabinet. We need more alcohol. That's a resolution. Yeah, we do. We'll if any more. any alcohol brands out there, just yeah, they want to send us some. Bloody I'd love. really love that. Please do. That's our um, New Year's resolution. Get sent loads of alcohol. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Who already sent us some? Hooch. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Hooch, darling. Not Spawn. Um, but feel free to send more. I love that. Thank you. That's grim. It does look it's like, like pond awesome. water. Oh, God. Oh, it really doesn't look good. Um, let me try it. But sorry for the audio listeners. I'm trying my drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's really bad. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's really horrible. Oh my god. He's got reborn. That's what? really strong. Did you pour a lot of um Oh my god, anyway. Oh that's fucking vile, George. Anyway. <laughs> um, that is absolutely it, fucking It's just awful. like water but with loads of vodka in it. Like there's no flavour in it. Uh, that's disgusting. Oh. Why would you choose for that to be a drink? I don't know. I thought that the seltzer had more flavour to it, but it seltzer is literally just flavoured water really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh anyway. Bloody hell. Um one of my favourite films is called New Year's Eve. Okay. And do you know like Love Actually? Yep. It's basically that, but New Year's Eve. It's made by oh. the same people. New and it Year's has Eve, a really actually. iconic cast. There's like... So iconic, I've never heard of it. Robert De Niro. Oh my God, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> Leah Michelle, who plays Rachel in Glee. Ashton Kutcher, who's Ashton Kutcher in real life as well. Yeah. Um, he plays Ashton Kutcher. Sting he plays is in it. No, but yeah. I just, in case you didn't know who he was. Sting is that what it said. Sting. <laughs> Sting is in it, I think. Oh, I loved him in the B movie. I know, R.I.P. though, that B that yeah. died because they stung someone. Or did they just get put in hospital? Got put Do in you know hospital. what irritates me? I'm so sorry, I've just got Whoa, to say okay. this. What irritates me I've got a can of worms. Can is, of the, is the homophobic people will be like, oh my God, um, there's so much like, so much gay in this film. It's it's so like crazy. I can't believe that you know there's a gay couple holding hands in this in this Pixar film. This is unacceptable. So Meanwhile, true. there was a whole film about a woman falling in love with a bee. Yeah. Are you taking the piss, Barry B. Benson? Yeah, but the bee was a put boy. his bee cock in that. It was a human it, woman. Yeah, it was a bee boy though. Bee boy, <laughs> exactly. Bee it was boy. A, it was, would you it was rather? A, it was a boy bee. Would you rather your homosexual child shove a bee up their asshole? Or be in a loving, sexual, penetrative relationship with a human. Answer me now. I I want them. Answer to me. Ha- I want them to have a relationship that ends up in a boy bee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Well, well, guess I... what? Uh, you, you're you're going to be disappointed because humans and bees can't reproduce. I've tried. Weird. Didn't work. How are we into this conversation right I now? I don't know. Summit made that come to my attention. Oh, um, can't remember what it was, but anyway, oh, I, I said I said the B movie, the film New Sting. Year's Eve. Yeah. I love it so much, and it all comes together at the end, and that is why it's been like one a of good my... orgy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's been like one of them um, <laughs> that I get kicked out of. It's been <laughs> one of my dreams to be in New York when it's New Year and yeah. the ball drops. Have you had balls dropped? Do you remember when your balls dropped? Um, no, I don't think that was a massive celebration. More of a... Oh. oh. I don't even remember mine happening. I don't mine think they have like, dropped. No. I definitely used to have a really, really high-pitched voice, though. Like, it's, it's yeah. quite high-pitched now. <clears throat> but, like, when we went to Florida um, to Disney World with my family, I used to yeah. have a bob and a high voice, and I sobbed because was, we were getting on... Bob your ex. Yeah. Um, and we were getting <clears throat> onto this cable car... And this old man went, come on here, little missy. Oh. In front of my whole family, and I burst into tears. And you went, well, that's not actually my gender. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, I don't you know said, why well, I don't developed assume. a Southern American accent, Sorry? but I did. What was that? Sorry, I, I didn't hear you over my shit American accent. Ah, oh, right. Okay, then. Um, yeah. Fun, though. <laughs> very, yeah. very um, emotional times. But yeah, I put a lot of importance into New Year. Um, and you clearly don't. No, so. I... I... 
whatever. I like having a little New Year's New Year's boogie, and I like ca- you, I like you, the countdown. Do you like um, you want to get like fucked up and party and woo ten? Start and start the year how I want to. Go what about on, New baby? Year's kiss? Um, don't Shall remind we? me. Oh, oh, yes, please. Oh. <laughs> no, but do you see that as a thing? Because I think that's more of an American thing. No, I've se- I I know I've been in the club when there's been New Year's before. Yeah, and, and everyone, everyone kisses. You can see everyone quickly looking around like, ooh, can I grab? And it's a bit weird. And then you stand there by yourself um, with that semi and you just kind of reflect on the year of, again, nobody being interested exactly. in Exactly. I just look back at my year with yeah. a semi, Max. That's yeah. how it goes down. That's usually what you do. You look at most things with a semi. Don't you? It's quite a problem, really. Do you remember yes. that time when the wind got really strong? And That's how it works. The wind, my mum used to say, George, if it, the wind will change and it will stay like that. And we all know what she was talking about. Yeah. My penis. Oh. Um, should um, we do a job? Mm-hmm. <laughs> George, this is actually <coughs> horrible. Like I don't. Oh, I'm used to hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I've got an email in. Now I feel at home. For the audio listeners, we don't I was need just to do this every time. Feeling very upset soon. because of the drink, um, but now I'm keyboarding. Jesus Christ! What? There we go. It's coming through. Oh, this is the printer. Bloody just hell! He's taking the mic on a ride. That was good. <laughs> I should tell Andrew. <laughs> Who's Mike? Wazowski. Does Mike Wazowski have genitals? If so, where are they? Um, between his legs. just like a piss slit. A what? A piss slit? What are you talking about? For him to urinate. A piss slit? What did you say? Piss slit. A piss slit? Piss slit. Oh, what he said? He's got a little piss slit. No. A pea slit. I can imagine Sully having genitals and it's hidden by the fur, but yeah. Mike, it's just rounded. What's going on there? It'd be a bit weird if Pixar just had a flopping cock between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> just put the rating of the film <laughs> straight up just to be anatomically correct. That is true. Maybe he just bash his nubs. But it would open it up to a whole different audience. Yeah, probably an audience that you don't want it to open up, be up to. Open up to. I think I'd be part of the audience. You don't want to be smashing nubs. Are you telling me you would not want to tune in to just see what Mike Wazowski's genitals look like? Because oh. if you are, you're lying. <laughs> I, I was trying to think of... Comment down below. How what could you, <laughs> what would you... What would be Mike... Where would Mike Wazowski have his... In between his legs. But they're, what? Not, they're not there, though. Yeah, exactly. So, hmm. Maybe, like, under his eyelid. Oh. Uh. Well, like pink eye. Yeah. A, co- a permanent pink sty. Cotton, yeah. Pink sty. No sty. You've oh, never a had sty. a sty? Yes, I have actually. Well annoying. Anyway, mm. um, should we answer this yeah, question? Should we do Let's this? read yeah. it out. Hey, yo, my loves. Oh, that's really nice. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> I need help. Okay. Yeah. I'm a Christian and go to church every Sunday. I'm currently waiting to get baptized. However, I am a stripper and no one at my church knows. Oh. I love it and I love what I do. How do I tell them? Um, did you grow up re- like with a religious? As a stripper. I mean, we all know that. But did you grow up like with religion in your household? Um, yeah, I used to dress as Jesus. Really? And strip. No, oh. I used. Um, at my school, we used to go to church. At school, you went to church, mm. or you did like church stuff. We in did like assemblies. chapel services and stuff. Right. Yeah. Same. I, yeah. I I went to a school that you needed to go to church enough times in your life to get into. Really? Yeah, like you needed to sign a book every week and you could only get into the high school if you'd gone consistently throughout oh. the year. Like until from like when you're four till... What, like a like a Nando's card? Yeah, pretty much. They they give you a little stamp every time you went to church yeah. and then your reward was school. Yeah, literally, oh. I know. Um, but I mean, I didn't really take it that serious. Cool, legend. I remember there was this... <clears throat> oh my God. God, every single episode. The power of Christ compels you. I, I love it so The power much. of Christ compels you. <laughs> love, what are you doing? I'm getting exercise to get this demon. Well, you look like you're me. getting a bit of exercise in. <laughs> that's my New Year's resolution, actually. Um, what? To, to get exercised. Oh, my God. Did I tell you about the time? It was oh quite recent. I got... I have this all on film, by the way. I should post it. Actually, it's a bit dead, but whatever. I got well, this letter. The story up well. Yeah. No, I got this <laughs> letter. Someone knocked story. on my door. You've been to my flat, haven't you? So like, yeah. you need a code to get into the building, everything. Yeah. And then this guy comes and knocks on my door. Doesn't even buzz anything. 
and has a single letter in his hand and he goes, are you Max? I went, yeah, hands it to me. It's like a thick letter with a wax stamp yeah. on it. Walks off, says nothing else. Sorry, you go to Hogwarts? Is this what you're saying? So really? I then start to film it, me opening it, because I think, oh my God, it's some sort of Harry Potter thing. Oh my God, like, I go to Hogwarts. Genuinely, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was I was buzzing. I was like, oh my God, this is sick. I open it. I'm recording myself. Yeah. And it says that it's from the Vatican. Right. In Italy. That's in Italy, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. And Rome. Italy, yeah. So oh, it's from the first said I'm wrong. No, it's, it's from Italy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, wrong. No, <laughs> from Rome in Italy, yeah. and it said that it was from the Vatican. And it was like, dear uh, Vatican. It was like, dear Max Belleg Day. Yeah. Um, as you may know, the cases of exorcisms has no demon. The cases of demonic possessions has been rapidly increasing over the last year. Right, and this is from the British School of Exorcism, inviting you to a live exorcism in this chapel on this date. We've heard that you have skills that might come in use, etc., etc. Pope Francis himself has requested you. It had all the official branding of the Vatican. I googled it. It was on this really thick like fancy paper right. and at the end it was signed some geezer from the vatican i geezer? shit That's myself from the vatican. Hmm? i was yourself. panicking i imagine i was thinking they think i'm a gay demon and they're trying to trick me into coming to this exorcism so that they can then exercise me and i was yeah, terrified so i rang my mum I rang my grandma i rang my sister my grandma said that she'd light a candle for me in church That's nice of her. um i mean don't know how much that would do but god bless literally <laughs> i was terrified about i contacted our management i said what is this for they were like max we've not cleared anything to be coming on this date like so it wasn't like an event well it ended up being but i didn't find out until about a week later so i recorded this whole thing like oh my god i was going to upload it to youtube like oh my god i i'm the the pope is trying to exercise me <laughs> like <laughs> genuinely i was terrified i was like what is going on and then, I don't um, think it's in the it Pope's nature to, to be... exercise little boys. No, I mean, it's not out of his character, to be fair. I mean, not his. Do you know how bad it is, like, all that it, those issues, like, in, like, the Catholic Church still? I I was just ushering on the subject. I didn't realise we'd be delving. So, it's so bad, though. Like, and in America, what they do is, when a priest or a vicar or something gets a complaint about paedophilia, they don't stop them from doing their job. They move them to a different church. So they're just going around America. That's... Like, anyway, that's a whole well, different... that's just like pedophiles on tour, then. Yeah, literally. That's just not how you're supposed to do it. Tickets out now. <laughs> no. But how <laughs> man mental is that? Um, yeah, that is weird. But yeah, it turned out it was promo for a horror movie. Oh, wow. And <clears throat> I was shitting myself, and nobody said that we were receiving the letter. So I, I, say, I don't think the Pope thought, would contact you. I, well, that, I know that's what I was thinking. I was like, why the hell does Pope Francis have enough time on his hands to be watching my TikTok, secondly? Second yeah. of all, finding out my address. <clears throat> Third of all, inviting me to an exorcism. But it turned out it was um, yeah, promo for a horror movie. But how terrifying is that? That's really weird. What was the question? <laughs> I don't even remember. Was there even a question yet? Oh, she's she goes to church, but she's a stripper. How does she confront this? Oh. Um... Do you think that... I mean... It depends what sort of church you go to. Because I know some people who go to church and they practice religion and they're still very open and understanding of people. Sorry, am I boring you? Sorry, yeah. Are you bored? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, uh, audio listeners, I was absolutely bored shitless so I um, yawned at straight at Max's face. Just filing a HR complaint. George The HR is, complaint is shock. His um, heart rate's gone up already. Right. Just sat across from me. His heart rate's just hit the roof, bless him. Anyway. Little HR um, complaint. <laughs> I just spat everywhere. Hope it landed in your mouth. That's, like, yeah, I don't know if weird. that's... Would you ever spit in someone's mouth while no. you're having... No. That is weird, I don't think so. That'd be wild. I would hate that. What? Anyway. <laughs> I think if you want to strip in the name of Jesus, that is fine. Go for it. I don't think I it's don't allowed think he's by, a the, judgmental by man. church. I, I mean, I'm not an avid Christian, and I'm not. I mean, I'm not a Christian. I so mean, I the know. sort of I don't really believe in um, much religion, but I think that the Bible is open to interpretation, and it's also been rewritten so many times that realistically, if Jesus was it's around like today, Spider Man, yeah. He's Toby Maguire, Andrew Garfield, oh. Tom Holland. How many do we need? Exactly. Just keep to the original stuff. Yeah, I say just oh, sorry, keep to Rip. Old Testament. 
no like Stanley. Stanley's dead. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think that religion doesn't have to be all like doom and gloom. You can believe in Jesus and also get your tits out. Yeah. You just have to. I feel like if you were a proper devout Christian, that would be frowned upon. Yeah, but even then, but, that's only. But societal. then, if you were a, a devout, you wouldn't be doing it in the. I, I feel like you wouldn't be doing it in the first. Yeah, place. you so can still believe in Christianity and strip. Also, like there sure. is nothing wrong with being a stripper. Everyone has clothes and they take them off. You're getting money. Good for you. Ooh. Also, why is it seen that men can walk around with the tits out and women can't? Stupid. My nipple is less <coughs> valuable and important mm. than a woman's. They should be able to freely flow them wherever they want to. Agree. Agree. Free the nip and free your beliefs from judgment. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Literal chills for that one. Thank you. Um, I've been practicing Which weirdly, that if it was literal chills, the nip would be erect. Erect. We've spoke about it before that when I pinch mine, they shrink. Yes. What do yours do? What do mine do? They just stay the same, don't they? Well, they're just constantly to attention, right? That's I know the... somebody that is a man who has literal nipples the size of like what's it, and he has to put what's nipple it doing that for? The huge, like the actual sticky out bit is really thick and l quite long, like a little penis on the nip. Well, not like not a little, it. a massive, yeah, really. massive that. Yeah. Um, but he has to wear nipple covers if he wears a shirt. A nipple cover, what like a thimble? What's that? You know the little Monopoly piece thimble. No, like um, it's like a sticker, as uh, like a. What's it called? That like, squidgy, um, latexy sticker that goes over your entire thing and it smooths it all out. Boob cup. Yeah, girls wear them to like cover the nip if they want to if they have a tight dress on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What's that noise? <laughs> the end of this, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was good. I love oh. speak now. <laughs> hey guys, so I've liked this guy now for quite some time, but over the past like year and a half, he's gained a lot of TikTok followers and oh. YouTube subscribers, oh. and I just feel like it might have gotten past the point for me to be able to shoot my shot with him. Like oh. I think he might just be too big in the social media world Breast. for this to become a thing. Um, mm. I did try to send him a message, but he hasn't seen it, which is weird because he always complains about being single and not having mm. a girlfriend, but he never checks his messages. So yeah, I don't really know what to do. So my question to you is, how would you get the attention of someone like that? Mm. And do you think it's possible for someone like that to be in a relationship with someone who isn't in that world? Mm. Um, so yeah. Oh, and his name's George Clark, so um, oh. do with that what you will. Thanks, guys. Oh, that was well. That's um, so weird. I don't. Yeah. I mean, my first. That's so thought, similar to. That's weird. That is. Yeah, that they've even got the same name as you. Yeah, that's mad. Um, my first thought would be write into the podcast if they've got one, or call into the podcast, and then it can be yeah. played out loud to them whilst they're on camera and being recorded so that they can't yeah, ignore just it. Completely out of the blue, without me having any knowledge of it beforehand. Yeah. By the way. Um, and second would be for them to actually physically show up to the place where you record your podcast no, but that's and then come in like, so come on out, <laughs> come on out. Wait, if I just like, no, it's just not happening. It's just not oh, true though, is it? If you imagine, as soon as you, until, until you said Susan, Hank. I was like, surely not. <laughs> but that imagine if I brought them to here though, that would have been great. That, that would have been, been great. Really, I probably no, would have done that. If that I would have been really awkward, though. That would have been really awkward, but how good would that have been if they just came and sat next to you? Yeah, <laughs> you're right, love. Um, mm. Right, what would you do then? Do you think that... Um, I mean, you, you've you said this quite a few times that you now definitely think that... I mean, these are your words. Definitely think you're too good for regular people. Um, so no, I what use are the word thought? peasants, but yeah. Peasants, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, are there them birds that you sometimes run over if you're in the countryside? Right, close. Um, I, don't, I don't. I would like to put it on the record. I don't run over birds. No, you don't. But you do think that you do. I just drop people loose that game on them. Loose game. Ooh. I don't even. Ooh, that's awful. Anyway, um, so what, the... what are your thoughts on this? Um, I don't know. I don't know how you'd bag such a worldie. Yeah. Hmm. That's a difficult one. How would you go about it? I mean, I would, firstly, 
make myself known and make it known as well. I mean, personally, I would prefer, I don't know what your thoughts are on this. Now that we're like in this industry, yeah, I would prefer being with somebody that isn't in it. Yeah. And maybe it is in it, but in a capacity that they're not like in front of the camera. Yeah. Like I would love to, be, I think ideal situation. I mean, I love my boyfriend. not going to break up with him. <laughs> um, I don't know why I always end up needing to <laughs> preface always, that. Yeah, you, these <laughs> points you make on this podcast always start with i love my boyfriend but no no, like... no i do love my boyfriend and i want to stay with him but if i had never met him <laughs> i would be in such a better place no 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 <laughs> no if i had never met him and i was now trying to like date somebody it would I think... not be him <laughs> no. no it would be him it would be him but my ideal <laughs> my ideal person would be somebody that is in the industry in a sense of they're like behind the scenes so they understand how it works and the pressure Callum, I think he's coming on to you. <laughs> so our producer's sat there um, <laughs> wearing a very nice grey jumper today um, of the homo- uh, heterosexual variety but I'm pretty sure that if times were different Ooh, I could. See. Oh, And also my co-host just tapped me with his um, foot was it? Well, Third same leg. size. Oh, ew. Uh, but anyway... I think that that would be ideal. So I don't understand why this person feels as though they don't have a shot at getting with somebody who's an influencer and perhaps thinks that they're better than everyone else. Do you know what I mean? I think it's just... Who is this? Do you uh, know who this is? Could you tell by the voice? No. You couldn't? I thought it was someone that you actually knew because they said that they've liked you for ages since before you got famous. <laughs> and that like, you. Well, that's like, dude, what's their name? What are your thoughts? Do you reckon that this person has a shot then? Or are you just such a busy boy who well, doesn't you know, have time got, for everyday uh, people? I've only got so much time in my calendar. Yeah. And so um, much spunk in the bank. That is absolutely foul. Isn't it actually really interesting to think that a man could impregnate the entire world if they wanted to, but a woman could only have a well, that's the dream. <laughs> can only have a few, like, children. That is crazy. Sexual, like reproductively, that is quite bizarre. Reproductively, I don't know if that's a word. I love that you try to slip that in as if it's okay, <laughs> which uh, shouldn't be said about reproduction. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. But what are your thoughts then? Um, yeah, I mean, pers- personally, I don't know about how how this George Clark who sounds. Yeah, gorgeous by the way you've described him. Um, I don't know I how he would ugly, think. I thought terrifying. Well, who knows? It's not me. Yeah. Um, I. How would I go? I mean, I. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anybody... I think it's how the it's initiated. Yeah, if it's initiated in a way of, oh my God, I love your videos, blah, 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 yeah. and I go, then that's a red flag. Not a red flag, it's just like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see you as that sort of... I'm, I'm you not then going... see them as instantly below you. No, I don't... Well, you yeah, see all your no, followers as below you. That's what... This, this is what you've told me That's what I'm saying. I don't want to see them below me. I... Oh, right. You don't want to see them at all. Seen and not heard. What? Not heard or seen. No, Max. What? Stop putting things right, in carry my on, mouth. Carry on, carry on. Cheeky. Um, no, I think it's just how things are initiated. Yeah. So, if somebody says, "Oh, I love your videos. I, I, I love. Uh, thank you very much," but then I'd feel like I'm taking advantage of I my position. I get what you mean. They instantly go into a category of person where you're gonna like be like friendly with them, mm. but you're not gonna engage it further than that because it would be seen as like an abuse of power. Yeah, exactly. I get that. I get that. But then I feel like I wouldn't... If, but now you're some... at a level where everybody in the world knows who you are. <sighs> so how are you ever going to find someone? See, this that... is the problem. It's that like is, trying to find you... a needle in a haystack. Oh. And then how do you even know it's an attractive needle? It could be a fuck ugly needle. Exactly. Rusty. Nobody wants that. Rusty needle. Uh, sounds like a horrible... Yeah, urban dictionary thing. Don't share needles, by the way, if you're out there. Don't do needles in the first yeah, place. Yeah, don't do them in the first. Yeah, I should have said that. Really. <laughs> if you're um, doing drugs, make sure you're not sharing them. Maybe, Keep them all for yourself. Can you imagine? I cannot imagine having to inject myself. Even if, do you know like diabetic people? Yeah. I would pass out. Or if, if when you, people go through IVF, I couldn't do it. Well, an EpiPen. I think EpiPen's different because you just like go oh, and you're in a time of panic and need. Yeah. Whereas if it was like I'm undergoing IVF to try and like expand my ovaries then I wouldn't be able to do you know what I mean I don't think you really have to worry about IVF are you sure yeah science is very good nowadays it's very good I don't think it's going to give you ovaries it's going to give you ovaries that you then need to impregnate do you think I'm ovary reacting you're ovary reacting nice 
I think I am. Um, you are so oh, very silly. Yeah. What was the question? I feel like we forget the question every single time. Um, it are was we still on church, lady? No. no. <coughs> it was about the girl that um, was wondering how... Oh, to... she... Oh, she called in, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, how to move to somebody. I say just be yourself, and if that's not working, give up. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Actually, very, it's, 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 it's worded like yeah. an absolutely horrible individual, but it, it, it's, it's true. If you, yeah. do, if you have to not be yourself to get someone, yeah. leave them for the rest. I mean, I think I did last week recommend that someone became one of Henry VIII's sex wives. Yeah, and I'm not ex-wives. He says they're not sex wives. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, they're um, arguably the same thing. No. I was in um, Dubai once, and I saw this guy who had nine wives all around the table. Wow. Isn't that an interesting thing? Could you I be one of nine wives? No, no. Would you, could you be one of six? Why is they the only two options? One of three. Um, I couldn't share a spouse. You couldn't share. No. no. Cause I want them for myself. Oh. That's nice. Feel special then, wouldn't it? Yeah, more special than one of nine. You could be. I feel like you could be one of a hundred. I could be one of one of two fifty, um, as long as I'm having a good time. Don't give up. No, I couldn't. I could never. I could never. And I understand as well. Not relationship shaming, if that's a thing. I prob. I imagine it. Probably oh, you are is. really trying to sort of defend us. Yeah, try to protect us. Bubble wrap the podcast. I am. Um, not relationship shaming, but. I know some people that have done like open relationships and at first it's like, yeah, let's do this. But then jealousy gets involved. Isn't that drink fucking vile? <laughs> Actually, horrible. It's so grim. It's absolutely horrid. <laughs> it's so bad. It's vile behavior. You made it. Oh, it's giving me shivers just thinking about it. Shiver me too um, But yeah, I think it works for some people, but not for me. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Agree. Um, oh, well, you've got an email coming in. Did we give them any advice? Uh, the advice would be, <laughs> I imagine they do look through their messages yeah. and they're absolutely flattered. Yeah. However, um, they, but they're not attracted to you. No, however, they, prob they probably oh. can't reply to every message. That oh, they... yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you get so many. No, not of all, not all of the, that nature, I would imagine. Mm. But I mean, if you're me, then yeah. For you, hardly ever. Yeah. <sighs> Right, I think I have actually got a message. Oh, that's through. good. Oh my god, woo! I love it when we get these emails in. Write in, by the way, guys, to the useless hotline <coughs> podcast at gmail dot com if you want to um, send us a letter or send us a voice Instagram. note to the Instagram, which is at the useless hotline pod. That's at the useless hotline pod it on is. Instagram and the useless hotline podcast at gmail dot com if you want to email. Wow, are you ready? Would you like to read this one out, George? Yes, please. I'd love there it. There you go. Okay. <coughs> Hello, Hi. my name is Josh And well, I'm in a sticky situation oh. I want to have sex with my best friend's girl oh. And she wants it too But every time we come close to doing it I picture my friend's disappointed face oh. See, that normally helps me get through it Yeah How do I stop feeling like this? Also, side note I want to arrange a three-way with her and her mum So a lot to unpack here Yes. Every time he gets close to engaging in intercourse with this woman, yeah, he thinks about his friend frowning. Because it's his friend's it's girlfriend. girlfriend. How do you deal when you're... Go Nothing. on, Max. Um, you say? How do you deal with it? How would you deal with it <clears throat> yep. if you had this guilt? Have you ever cheated on someone? I haven't had anyone to cheat on. Oh, that's upsetting. Um, <laughs> I've never cheated on somebody, but I imagine that if I did, the act of like it happening would then just fill me with guilt to the point where I'd end up telling them anywhere. Yeah. So if you're feeling it before you even do it, odds are when you've done it, you're going to be a wreck and you're going to end up telling it. I thought you were going to add a T on the end of that. Going to get wrecked. You're going to be a wreck. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you've done it, you're probably going to be a wreck. Yeah, probably. I mean, hopefully. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say tell him... Bef you can't just tell them beforehand because you've already disobeyed their trust and it's yeah. literally their girlfriend exactly what you're gonna tell them beforehand you can't you can't be oh, like yeah, oh by the way girlfriend. yeah like 
we kind of want to see each other now. And you, what, is your mate supposed to go, oh, that's all right, no exactly, problem. Like, no. Yeah, no, I'm fucking your problem, mate, yeah? yeah. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. What did you just say? Sorry, I was, um, my inner UFC fighter came out. I don't know what any of those words mean. You know what a UFC, UFC yeah. isn't that like wrestling? Yeah, what does UFC stand for? What do you reckon it stands for? Under fecal clients. Under fecal clients? Mm-hmm. Was that just, is that just a posh name for a dung beetle? Yep, when you're what? fighting them silly. Smack. It's actually the ultimate Bang. fighting championships. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, I... Yeah, you're in the wrong no matter what you do. Mm. But that doesn't mean get further into the wrong. No. Not calling her the wrong. <laughs> um, but I would say... Get into the right. S- take a step back. Mm. Let them know what's going on. Uh, and then find somebody who's not going out with your mate. Yes. Why do you have to cheat on... Why do you have to do this to your friends for? <laughs> yeah, who drunk are you? Why do you have to do this to your friend for? <laughs> I don't like it. Why do you have to cheat on this I think for? the fact that you're even thinking about it, bad friend, bad person, stop and don't do it again. Do you know we've mixed stuff at the end? What? Also, side note, I want to arrange arrange a three-way with her and her mum. Yeah, even worse. Mad. Mental. Just sh- how about just shag the mum? I, I mean... I mean, it's a lot less offensive. And then you and your friends are all in one big Christmas day. It's going to be a laugh. You've got ex- one of your best mates there. Yeah, except all of them want to get with you and not your mate. I mean, once the drinks start <clears> flowing, <throat> who's to say a foursome won't happen? Wait, that's mum and daughter, though, isn't it? <coughs> I mean, it is either way, because he wants three with his mum and a. Oh yeah, would you ever have a three bit? No, with... Max. No. Me neither. Good. You sure? Very sure. Oh. Okay. I couldn't be more sure. Oh. Isn't there that thing? What would you rather? Um, you have to watch your parents having sex every day, or join in once. Oh my god. That's, That's just horrible. No, you can't so... join in. You can't. You can't join in, but imagine watching them. After Raw after like three four weeks, you're just becoming null to it. Like it's just. A thing I mean, you happens. might. I wouldn't. They'd be. It, it. You just naturally would just be like, that's just what happens now. Well, I mean, you've grown up with it, so you're different. <laughs> so you're different because the average person hasn't watched that before. Whereas that was your thing, wasn't it? Oh, Max. <laughs> no, no, no. I that what, was a joke. What happened I, to this New Year's resolution? I can't. It wasn't about your dad. My my dad is one of my parents. Really? That's weird. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, I couldn't do it. I'd kill myself. Is that an option? What? So, which one would you choose? Watch or join once? What does join mean? Get like, involved. Like just like throw in some. Get involved. Every now and no, again. you have to go hundred percent. Get involved. So I have to like put my winky in. Yeah. Oh, I don't want. Make to. sure both parties are enjoying themselves. At the same time. <laughs> yeah. God, there's only so much of me to go around, but um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I. I think I'd get quiet. Also, I'm not in good shape at the minute. I think I'd. I get don't fatigued. think they'd care. I th- I th- I think that is genuinely the last thing you need to be worried about in this situation. Fight. Quite I don't think you. Quick, quick. I don't think you need to be Quite thinking. Quickly. Oh, if I'm gonna get with my parents, I should probably get hit the gym a few times before. At least for two weeks before, treadmill it every day. Oh, is this for stamina? Yeah. Why? Why would you want stamina? Well, I've, well, it's not that I would want to last. <laughs> why would you? Long. Why are these the things? That you're but thinking also, of? like, <laughs> oh, I want to make sure I look good and I can last long. Why the hell is that the way you've gone for it? I don't it? know, and I'm really upset now. <laughs> I don't what, know what's the, what the hell? I'm not having a good time. What the fuck? I don't know. Is there a way <laughs> that I could like wear a what? Do you know, like, um. Oh my god, I, I learned this thing like that a full um, body condom. I'm pretty sure that Mormons p- shag each other between like a sheet so that it doesn't touch. Does that count? Why am I moving like that? <laughs> <coughs> oh 
that is the thing. I also found out about this thing because there's a Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, okay. and Salt Lake City is a huge Mormon community. Oh, why is it called Salt Lake? There's this thing called soaking, which uh. is you don't have. It's not classed as having sex before marriage because what you do is you just put the penis in the vagina and hold it there. Just hold it there. So it's called like soaking. What, just like save it for later. No, you just hold it there, and then that's like the fill that you get. How mad is that? Well, you just sit there. Yeah, you just sit there because if you move it around, then that's classed as sex, apparently. So like loads of like <coughs> horny like college students soaking each other. Soak in each other. Yeah. What? To, the way it says soaks, like it's a marinade or something. That's actually yeah, horrible. In it, seeping in. Seeping. Oh. Well, you just sit there. It's real. I've not made this up. No, you don't sit there. I imagine you're like on top of them or something. I don't know. But that's what, a just, real thing. Just lying there. That's weird. I know. Oh. You have to be dead still. Yeah. That's weird. I know, because if you move too much, then it's classed as thingy, and then you're in, in bad books of God. So wh- how the hell did we get here? What was oh, the question? Three way with her, her and her mum. Oh, yeah. Stop <coughs> this behaviour. Don't do any of that. Grow up. Yeah. And be a good friend. Josh, you better be Josh in, mate, because that is disgusting. Isn't that that song? I'm in love with Stacy's mom. No, Stacy's mom has, has got, got it going, going on. on. Yeah. Hmm. You made up your own one, then. Oh, that's quite. That's the same. Isn't it Stacy's girlfriend in that song? But he fancies your mum. Do you fancy mums? Oh my god, I just remember this really funny story. It's what? quite funny. I when so, I how have you remembered that from you fan, from because just mums? wait, just wait. So there used to be, I, I like made friends with this boy when I was in like year eight, but he was quite bad in school and he was quite a bad influence and I didn't really oh, like him that much, shocking. but I thought he was like cool. So I was like trying to emulate stuff that he did. Go for a bad boy. And he would share on Facebook, like um, it would be like a picture of like a mum with like big tits in like a bikini and it'd be like, share if you love MILFs. And he would share them. So I shared it like three or four times over like a few days, not realizing I've literally got my fucking family <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> I'm in year eight. About a week later, we go for a family meal to the local Indian restaurant. Love it. Um, by the way, great chicken tikka masala. And my stepbrother brings up, he's like, Max, why the fuck have you been sharing if you love MILFs on <laughs> Facebook? And then my mom had to tell me off and she found out and I've never been more humiliated in my Sorry, entire that life. That was the most humiliating part of your life. I mean but your, no, but your it's up priorities there. are all wrong. Share if you love MILFs when you're in year eight. Are you joking? And I'm deeply homosexual. Fuming. I don't even love MILFs, but I was pretending that I loved MILFs. Also, <laughs> the idea of someone loving MILFs when they're in year eight and haven't even hit puberty yet yeah, is so weird. hilarious I look like a bold little <clears throat> owl down there a bold owl mole rat naked mole rat have you ever seen a naked mole rat I say a bold owl yeah. I mean either a naked mole bold rat bold eagle just... I meant naked mole rat looks like a dirty little peen <laughs> it does they're awful oh, that's, that's such a horrible sentence that's I know like dirty but imagine peen. share if you love mills I mean, maybe start doing that hey on guys, your Facebook. Uh, if, you, if you're liking this podcast and you love MILFs, make sure to share it. <laughs> but yeah, maybe you could do stuff like that to slowly give hints. You're with the girlfriend, but then like... Well, just, just start every now sharing and... Facebook posts that you like MILFs. Yeah, or just tweet like, oh, I love MILFs every now and again. I like, think that's I love... how you do it. I'd say just be honest and take a step back and find a girl who's not... Belonging to your friend, not belonging. Oh yeah, see, sexist. Who um, sexist attitude. Your friend owns. <laughs> <laughs> right, next question. I've got an email. Oh, that's incredible news. Do I have an email or do I have a? I think I've actually got an email. <laughs> I do need. Sorry for <coughs> all your listeners. I'm just <clears throat> typing on my keyboard, and the printer is about to print out the letter from one of our lovely viewers. It's literally every single time that it happens, you just explain what's currently happening. Yeah, because I've we we got shit saying that it's not tailored towards our audio listeners enough. So, what, so you just I now tailor it towards them every opportunity I can. And it's just <coughs> that opportunity every time. Hi, Max and George. 
Hello. Basically, me and my boyfriend were getting bored with our sex life, so he brought me this mini pellet vibrator that he could control using an app on his phone. So mm. when we would go on nights out and other occasions, we could make things extra spicy. Very high tech. Yesterday, I forgot that I was wearing it after a night out and I went horse riding, oh God. which can be a bit of a bumpy ride. And somehow I lost the vibrator up my vagina. What the hell am I supposed to do? I can't tell my boyfriend because he would think it's just funny to turn the vibrator on at random points in the day, even though it's inside my guts. What Jesus. am I supposed to say when we next go out? So that would be a good prank, to be fair. That would be. I know somebody who if does this. Particularly pissing you off, just. Yeah. I know somebody who does this. Do you? I don't. Yes. And. It is a couple, and their sex life, again, was not that interesting. And they decided to get it, and then I was with said person. No. And they, st they, were, they were like, ooh. And then I was like, what? And then they told me about it, and I was literally like, That's, are you being serious right be, now? I'd find it weird if... Uh, you know that they're vibrating yeah. next to you, getting some kick out of it, and while she's walking around Lidl. Oh. You're in the. F I mean, everybody loves that island Lidl where you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. So I thought the they were just Lidl. really enjoying it. That was the last thing that you thought you were going to get. But they were getting pummeled. I mean, not pummeled. pummeled. They were getting a bit of a cheeky fizzy time. Cheeky Fuzz fizzy buzz. time. Yeah. But That's what I call it when I get my refillable glass at Nando's. Oh. That's cheeky nice. fizzy time. Yeah. Would you like to do something like this then? Are you into the idea of like you and your partner having like a little secret that nobody knows about? Um, I think that that can be quite fun, but to the extent where not when you do, I feel like it's a li might be a little bit weird when you're doing it like with your it's friends. It's a bit invasive, isn't it? Can you imagine if I told you that every time we fill the podcast, I've got a well, like a just cord up home my ass. The... <laughs> I've got a lamp post inside of me. A lamp post? <laughs> Jesus Christ! A Mary Poppins ass. Also, how does it get lost? Isn't that quite? Mm. It's bad. It's badly designed. If it got. What's a mini what, pellet? What, the vagina's badly designed? No, or... the, the device. Because isn't it supposed to have a hook on the outside of something so that it can't come out? Like, so it can't go into you? I don't know. I mean, I've never... Also, what's a pellet? Point. Isn't a pellet, like, that big? That's what you feed goats, isn't it? But... Yeah. Mm, I don't know. So isn't that, like, not a bit too small? And why ah, would you come even... on. You can work with what you're given, Max. True. Um, I mean, we've all seen it upsetting um but yeah i just think be honest with him even if he turns it on and it's <coughs> in your low intestine not talking about you then i mean uh, get over it do you know what i mean you need to get this out of you it can't exist within you you need to go to the hospital yeah the amount of people that go to the hospital a year for getting things lost inside also them. how do you forget it's inside you yeah how do you have it in overnight and then the following morning before you go horse riding? Horse riding is quite an esteemed sport. Surely you have a shower before that. That's, yeah. I don't like that. Get it out. It's your fault. Quite frankly, it's your fault. But how would you get it out? Dyson? I mean, for me, I just reach my whole hand in and grab it. That's weird. That is horrible, that is. Yeah, that's not too difficult. Oh, so you get the Dyson out. Oh. Or just ask someone to get a straw and suck. Oh. What? That's horrible. Or just grab don't ask me if you don't grab all the shoulders and shake. Yes. I once choked on a Malteser. That is just not relevant at all. And my stepdad had to lift me up by my feet and <clears> twat <throat> me. That's not the most efficient method. Don't that recommend seems it. seems like just an excuse. It works, though. I think it was. I think he had a lot of pent-up aggression that he was letting out in that moment, but it yeah, saved where, my where life. Where did he slap you? On my like, on my face, um, <laughs> repeatedly punched me in the shins, and then eventually worked his way down to the centre of the back. Wow! Well, yeah. did he actually hit you? Just the back? No, yeah, just the back. But it worked. Which back? My Cheeky. biggest one. Oh, so you stepped up. Baby got back. Oh. Yeah. No, that's weird. Um, but yeah, so maybe try that. Have you been, you know? Are there monkey bars around that you could hang upside down from, and then your boyfriend could give you a Swift. I, I, hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you could just resort to violence to yeah. get it out. Yeah. But yeah, maybe just go to a medical professional. Yeah, or that. A I bullet guess. pro. Yeah, pellet. Give it a whirl. Give, definitely give it a whirl. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, the sound of 
fun. Oh, right. I'll answer this one then. There you go. Right, I need some help. I started doing OnlyFans recently and it is going pretty well. I use Twitter to promote it, but I also use an app which is very familiar to one of you. George, I'm looking at you. Grinder. Yep. Um, I speak to people on there that I wouldn't speak to if I wasn't promoting the OnlyFans. Like, not to be rude, they're just not my type. I don't want anything sexual to do with them and I never tell them that I do. But the problem is they'll subscribe and then they'll keep messaging being like, okay, I've subscribed now, so when am I going to get to suck that dick? And I'm just like, I don't remember signing my name on that dotted line. Like, that's going to come at a much higher rate. I'm joking. Right, it's the cost of living crisis, guys, but Jesus, we're not quite there. Anyway, my question is, how do I put it to them in a way that's respectful, um, that it's not going to happen, in a way that's not going to hurt their feelings? in a way that they're going to keep subscribing. All right, let me know. Love you. Bye. I mean, we too are trying to get subscribers, but on YouTube, so subscribe if you've not. Ha ha, yeah, (laughs) do it. Um, Um, I don't know. I mean, firstly, I'd like to say I'm not well-versed in Grindr. He didn't say, he said Grindr. That's a different app altogether, Well, firstly, I'd like to let you know I'm not well-versed in Grindr. (laughs) Um, I've only just downloaded it. (laughs) Uh, for English is <laughs> I've only just downloaded yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. How would you go about this? How would, well, so his problem is he's promoting he's his only fans fans, on Grinder, think... which is kind of a bit misleading because Grinder is a hookup app, and then he's trying to get people to subscribe to him, and once they do, they then believe that they're actually going to get something in real life, which yeah. is a blurred line. Not well, not really, because he's not. I know you want it. Say it, yeah. Um, how weird lines. is that song, by the way? Hmm? Do you know that that song is literally about date rape? Blurred Lines. Oh, wow. It's like, you know you want it. I know you want it. You're a good girl. Blurred Lines. Like, it's saying, like, the, the these rest, lines sorry, are blurred. Um, no, 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 no. But how weird is that? Yeah, that is really awesome. Weird song. Anyway, um, what were we talking about? Grinder. Yeah, so I think the fact that maybe you are giving wrong signals and i imagine if you're trying to get people to subscribe to your only fans you're doing it in a sexual way maybe being sexually suggestive however it's important to note that being sexually suggestive and getting someone to subscribe to your only fans does not mean that they are entitled to suck your peen in real life exactly exactly Um, because if they were then george would have sucked the peen of however many people around the world i can't even yours for one yeah exactly um, Again, so that that would that would just be so time consuming for you, wouldn't it? I don't even know how you'd manage to do yeah, that. I know. I'm not Santa Claus. No, <coughs> um, that's <coughs> what Santa was originally made up for. I mean, not yeah. made up; he's real. Um, but that's the original story, isn't it? Story. Saint Nicholas was mm. the Saint Nicholas. Yeah, was the original name. Oh, that sounds quite cute. To be I don't know. Saint Nicholas sounds cute. Yeah, I like it. Well, of course, you like it. Mm. Anyway, what advice would you give them? What would I say? Um, maybe put a little T's and C's. Oh, by the way, this doesn't mean I'm going to give you a Cock little... you. Yeah. Cock you down. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a nice way to put it. Mm. Um, please do subscribe if you fancy the goods. But just, let you, just so you know, you won't be getting a, a mouthful. Yeah. Fair enough. You're entitled to your... N- to not be touched... Exactly. Person. Everybody is. So we're all allowed to not be touched. Absolutely. Let that be a lesson for you workers. out there. Yeah. So I think that was actually quite. We actually for once gave quite good advice. I, I don't feel. know if that was great advice, but um, I think it was. Well done, Grinder. I like Grinder. It. Picasso. Can you do? That was Scottish, wasn't it? Yes. Do your best Scottish. Do my best Scottish. I'm quite good at Scottish, to be honest with you. My old um, form tutor was called Mister Thompson. And he was very Scottish. I liked it. Moving on, I think I've got an email. <laughs> it feels like we're on an audio book right now. All right, really? Oh, Aye. I feel like Miss McGreedy. Miss McGreedy from Balamori. Oh my God, I've got uh, a phone call. It's a phone call. Okay, a um, can you wait for a phone call? <laughs> oh, Hi, Max and George. Love the podcast. Thank and you. my <laughs> problem is... Well, it's a bit of a dilemma, really. I was oh, just at university after a night out and we were getting it on and um, 
Rubby, he rubby. gets the lube out and puts it on my vagina. Well, I oh. thought it was lube. It was in the dark. And then when the lights turned on, I looked to the side oh. and there was bulldog moisturiser. And now I'm just a bit worried. Like, what if I get thrush or, or a reaction or something? Anyway, yeah. So that's my problem. Well, first wow. of all, I'd like to commend your bulldog on having such a great skincare routine. Yeah, I was going to say. It's, um, a bit of a... it's quite rare, isn't it? That, <coughs> it's a bit of a... Um... That they take such care. Indeed, yeah. And well, I, I don't think a... they should be ridiculed for that. I think that they no, should be. No, of course. Yeah, I mean, they've got a lot going on as it is. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a... The you... slaver problem. The slaver? Or mm. saliva, do you say? Slaver. Slaver. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's a bit of an insult for him to mix up your vagina with a bulldog. Yeah, but I mean, easily done. Yeah. Um, it could have been an Alsatian or a Great Dane. Yeah, Whoa. that would have been an wow. insult. But a bulldog, they have that short snout, don't they? So that's, that makes sense. And the sort of mouth. Uh. And the breathing problems. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Mm. So that that's quite common. But of what, course. From what I've heard amongst they were Spaginers. Talking, they were talking about the old bulldog moisturizer. Oh, yeah. For the actual I human face. That. Oh, God. Um, <clears throat> I mean, realistically, what's the really issue? asked beforehand... Wait, whose job was it to what? It was probably his. It's the boy's job if they are squeezing it into your vagina. Also, I mean, I've not been with a woman in quite some time, but I didn't know that people needed to use lube for vaginas. Doesn't it lube itself up? I would imagine so. What do you mean, imagine so? It depends on the girth, maybe. If it has, if it's a big... Why is it every single thing that we talk about on here about sex? Because it's you. Well, because it's me. What did I do? Because um, I'm so hot. Yeah, Fair just, enough. You just get everyone. Um, makes sense. Also, I just want to clarify. I don't think there's anything wrong with talking about sex. I think that we should actually normalise talking about sex. Maybe not so much, but yeah. Um, why? What? What do you have? <laughs> What's your issue with sex, George? Just no, no don't issue get with it. sex. Just we got we got time to put something else in. Not talking about sex still. Well, get the bulldog mo- moisturizer out and let's well, shove it in. I'm glad then. you added moisture on, moisturizer onto that. Get I the think... bulldog out. <laughs> let's, think... let's give him a go. I think that you'll be fine. I mean, I don't even see why this is an issue. It's been... Yeah, but what's in the moisturiser? That, that could put, cause some vaginal problem. I mean, yeah, I guess so. We'll get that sorted out. Why are you calling us? What do I look like? What I do that, I look like? I know that your response is, what the fuck would I care if yeah, there's anything wrong with I'm your not vagina? Being funny. Why do I, what, what, what do I know about that? Not a lot. Not a lot. No. And also, am I a doctor? If you've got thrush, how could I tell? I don't even know what thrush looks like. I imagine white and frothy. Oh. Is it? I don't, I don't know. know what thrush is. White and frothy? It sounds like that, That's doesn't it? That's just a mocha latte. Oh. oh, it's just an itchy vagina, apparently. I've just been with no discharge. And little earwigs so. just told us, which is a horrible thing to hear just yeah. whispered to you, I have just to say. Just itchy vagina. <laughs> I know someone who used to always, like, scratch and like in front of me, and I'd be like, oh. don't do that. Jesus. I know. Itchy and scratchy. Oh, I can't even imagine, like, how you would go about that. Well, yeah. how do you itch your testy? Do you pinch? I actually have quite itchy testicles every now and again. Sometimes you have to pinch it, don't you? It's just yeah. to get that little... Because you can't, you can't really can't get really a full... You can't really scratch it. No, no you have to it'd pinch. sink in. Yeah. Isn't it mad that you can fully put your testicles in back inside you? That's how. That's what drag queens do. Yeah. When they, like, tuck, they pop their testicles up into a socket, yeah. and then they've got an empty sack, wrap the penis around and sellotape it to their ass. That makes crack. so much sense, actually. Where do they go, the little balls? The balls go to the cavity <clears throat> that they do before your balls drop. Why are they... Before sp- your balls drop, they're in a cavity that are, like, up there... Oh, my lungs. Yeah. <laughs> I had a f- uh, friend at school who used to... I was going to say you once had, like, balls in your lungs. No, I had a friend at... S- this is a different story. I had no, a friend okay. at school who used to um, have to go to, like, matron quite a lot because... What's matron? Uh, like, school nurse. Oh, I see. Royal family. Didn't When did I say last week that you put part of the royal family? <laughs> the fact that you called the school nurse matron. What the hell is that? Matron. Well, I just outed myself as a... Shut the fuck up. Matron. Tory. When he would go... Oh, I had a friend who would go to the matron. What the fuck is that? Carry on. But yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> little Reggie, we he'd yeah. pop down to the Reginald. matron. Um, and it's, you know, it's brilliant news because uh, yeah, she, she, was a, she was a family friend. Ah, right, okay. So she sorted um, him out. Yeah, but, you know, it was, it was awkward for him mm. because he used to breathe in at quite a heavy rate. 
and the testy was the, 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 his ball he'd breathe in quite heavy and his ball would just enter him what like what just, it's already, is it not already them. in him they what like just, go up into that yeah. cavity so they'd, bo- they'd both be dangling little dangly doos and then it'd go <gasps> and it'd go like it'd just go oh my god that means he has a wide cavity I once, um, I used to speak to this boy. Sorry, this is this is as if you know that's what it means. I mean, I've tried it multiple times. Have you never tried to mush your penis into a vagina? What the hell? I'm joking. That <laughs> what the hell does that mean? No, but you can tuck it. I've never done it because it scares me when you balls go up there naturally. Sometimes though, like when you're about. Cool, to, it like, might go up there naturally for you, mate, but not for me. Yeah. Well, um, what was I gonna say? I used to speak to this boy whose balls had twisted. He oh. was in the gym doing exercise. And they twisted, and it really hurt him. And then he went to the um, uh, like A and E, yeah. And they they had to immediately operate on him because one of his testicles was starting to die because oh, it gosh. wasn't getting oxygen to oh, it. My and then ever since, and he showed me, he had stitches because they had to stitch his testicle to the left side of his um, scrotum so that it just wouldn't keep it in twist place. again. Yeah, just to keep it in place. Oh, How geez. crazy. I know. No, that was uh, my sister's boyfriend told me our story. Um, not not about him. Yeah. Um, about uh, a friend that they went to his school. <clears throat> who apparently, was always used to be like really hyperactive and stuff. Mm. And then one day came in and was really like mellow. And everyone was like, "What? what what's happened, man? Why are you why are you so sad?" Mm. He was like, "Oh, I was playing FIFA last night, and I jumped on my bed and I landed on one of my balls and it popped." <laughs> oh my god! It popped. <laughs> Doesn't that a story like that just make you feel like you want to rip your insides out and like not be a human anymore? Oh my god, that's awful. He just jumped on his bed and landed on it. Oh my god, I have a story that is like similar in that it makes you just feel really uncomfortable about yeah. your own body. I guess girls wouldn't feel that uncomfortable about that because they don't know how it feels to have balls. Yeah. But this one affects everybody equally. Okay. So That's my nice. sister told me a story about somebody that she knows who policy. was plucking um, hairs oh, no, out of Max. the nipple. Have I told you this? No, I just don't like the where it's going. Plucking hairs out of the nipple. Right. And then they were like, there's one. Oh, my God, it made oh. oh, I feel like I'm literally, oh, my God. There was one that was coming out of the end of the nipple. So they were like, what the hell? Oh, oh no. My God, no I feel sick. I feel so Max sick. I don't like oh. it. So they pulled it, and it was really long, like an ingrown hair. And then they suddenly were in so much pain, went to the doctors. They'd pulled out a nerve. Put a nerve? A nerve. A full nerve out of the end of the nipple. Oh, is that not, does that not just make you feel so uncomfortable? Oh. Can you imagine pulling a nerve thread by thread out of, oh my How the hell did you manage that? It wasn't supposed to be like poking out, obviously. Obviously, a nerve's not to be really popping out of the end of your nip. And then they pulled it, and he was like, they, they, apparently they were in like pain, like crying. And then they went, and they were like, you have literally pulled a nerve out of your body. How the hell would oh. you do that? I mean, it was sticking out, so they pulled it. How does a nerve stick out the end? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. How did your ball pop? Oh my god! The n- these things happen. The nerve. Oh, the n- the cheek. The goal. Bloody oh hell. my god! It, that just. I know everybody back home. Back home, as if we're like <laughs> hometown heroes. Everybody back home. I love you. Um, everybody watching. I f- I'm sure you all feel so. Oh my god! Oh, it, it makes you feel like. Ugh. I bet whenever they go back around there, plucking hers out oh now, my they're, god, there's they're no just chance. really nervous. Why did my hand just go up? I'm so uncomfortable. My body's doing weird things. Mm. We've only gone and smashed it. Yeah. That was easy. What great advice we gave. Again, I, every episode you seem to hype up your advice giving. I think that we've done a really good job. Um, Have we? We're not at all tired. Maybe a little bit ill. Yeah. And. Um, I've been chatting absolute gibberish for the past hour. I think that that was amazing. I thought that went quite well. Oh, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> great input, George. Thanks, really Max. great input. As usual, if you would like to send in any queries, that's an offensive word, to us, <laughs> then you can write them to the useless hotline <clears throat> podcast at gmail.com or. Hop on over to our Instagram where you can send in a voice note or you can alternatively send a, a text message 
And the Instagram is, of course, at the useless hotline pod. That's at the useless hotline pod on Gmail. On Gmail? On, uh, on uh, Instagram. On <laughs> Gmail. It is. You can also please subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you liked. Tell me I look fit. That's okay with me. Or if you're listening on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you listen to your podcast, give us five stars, please, and follow us because it really helps. I don't know why, but it helps. Okay, we need it. And um, thank you very much. Thanks, Love guys. you all lots, and Happy New Year. Yes, who's ready for a year of this shit? Not me. With guests. Oh, maybe with some guests. Who knows? We do. We do. Love you. Bye. And remember, don't, don't pull your nipple, nipple off. off. Don't do it.